Now, the second part of this, uh, of this assignment, the project, is to basically look into interest rates. How do we know, as you guys did with margins, looking into the company, finding out its margins, finding out its growth, where is it coming from, what is the underlying assumption behind, behind uh, higher rates? And please uh, either share a link or actually copy your article into the file. But, uh, you know, I'm looking, seeing even right now, the, the rates, the 10-year Treasury bond went up by 30 basis points the last two weeks. And I'm basically seeing that we're expecting a rate hike of the Fed uh, in the next year, a level two. So basically, the Fed is hiking up rates. It's expected to happen actually next month. And again this year, so that's why I'm saying, at the very level, at the very least, rates are looking to get. From my my estimation, rates are looking to go to about uh, eight point six. In other words, let's see. In my discount model, I'm actually thinking that um, going to four point five will basically involve you know about three or four rate rate hikes because we're already kind of actually at 2.1 this was actually a couple of weeks ago so this is we're already at 2.1 so another percent and a half uh, th percent and three quarters we're already at four of the risk free rate so that is the estimation and I did a little bit of research of why that is a higher inflation higher government deficits and just a general projection of where the 10-year treasury is going. So please, as part of your research, look up three or four of our articles on where are the rates going, and not just in the next year, but next five years, because we really want to look at uh, this as expected in, over the long term, because the, imagine the stock price doesn't just include short-term expectations, it also includes long-term expectations and a mix of them. So this is something to think about. And I also, in this file, look up, um, I created three valuations using the three discount rates that I came up with based on different scenarios, um, with the discount rate being different, showing you the three different stock prices. And in terms of the rates, just to go back, uh, the idea of this scenario with the max that's basically coming from uh, the scenario of having high inflation. So if we have high inflation, the Fed will start raising their rates much faster, and then we could have this situation. And we can see, overall, just want you guys to get a feel for this idea of uh, higher rates. We can see how much lower the market will be, basically, with high rates, uh, how depressing it is to the market. And understandably, why? Because we're basically discounting by a higher number. And as you also see, when the market risk premium basically comes down, um, as we see in our model, we'll see that basically when, when the rate rises, look how the risk premium basically comes down. So it's basically, in a way, the market is returning less so it's going to be valued less because it's the same risk but less return. Um, and that's when people choose bonds. People are like, hey, if I'm going to get the same return from bonds, why not invest for bonds? So you notice that people will probably start talking as interest rates rise. People will be like, well, I might as well put my money into bonds because I'm definitely going to get at least a return that's almost guaranteed there.